Hello everybody, welcome to the Stutter Sage channel. My name is Sage and today I'm going to address a question that I uh, received on my last video. Is there a uh, cure for stammering? Um, first of all, I'd like to say that I don't think and stuttering, stammering is, is not a disease. So, um, But I understand the question and your question is, is there a way to solve the challenges that us, that we stutterers have um, in speech. And I want to sound hopeful while managing expectations. And so in my opinion, I don't think there is a solution to, 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 uh, to absolutely um, make a stutterer become a non-stutterer, somebody who's never going to stutter. But I do think that there are significant, uh, I, I think that significant improvements can be made. I'll use myself as an example. And um, there are many, well, there are recent studies that are taking place. So there's a lot of awareness that's happening in, uh, in regards to stuttering. So I'd like to hit both of those topics in this video. So first of all, let me talk about uh, these new studies that uh, actually are um, only a, a, a couple of days old. So as you can see here, um, uh, article published on the 17th of April, International Study Hopes to Unlock the Genetics of Stuttering. Now I'll put a link uh, of this article in the description, but the whole point of this article is that researchers, um, I think they're, they've asked 3,000 people in Australia to uh, participate. And what they want to do is hope, that, you know, if they can better understand why people stutter, they can uh, offer maybe or try to find out uh, solutions. Um, as it says here, quote, study, study participants will be making a genuine contribution to solving this disorder. Now, um, not sure how uh, how beneficial this will be in the long run, but what it does tell us, what it does tell the stuttering community is that more people are starting to understand, more people are starting to care. Uh, when I was growing up, this was unheard of. So, you know, it gives us hope. Now, let me hit the other topic, and that's uh, significant improvements can be made. Like I've mentioned in my first video, I believe, it used to take me over a minute to say my name, and I believe that I have a simple name, Sage. Uh, I used to go to a speech therapist, and she used to time me. And uh, from going to that, the way I speak now is, is um, uh, hopefully will give, will give you hope. There are still words that I struggle with. There are names and letters and phrases that I struggle with. And if I don't focus on my speaking, I will stutter. And um, so you have to be aware, you have to acknowledge the fact that you do stutter and what solutions uh, work for you. Um, it's not because you're nervous. It is not because you're afraid. It's not because you're intimidated. It is not because you're less intelligent. It is not because you're incompetent. It is not because you rush when you speak. None of those. Whoever tells you any of that, they are wrong. Um, yes, when you stutter, you get nervous. When you stutter, you feel incompetent. Yes, I understand that. But that's not the reason why we do stutter. Um, as I said, I'm a covert stutterer, so I try to hide it. But to answer your question, or to answer the question of if it can be cured, there are certain names that are very hard for me to say and certain phrases that are very hard for me to say. So I won't attempt to say them uh, co covertly. I'll try to kind of reveal a little bit of my stutter. So my sister-in-law is, is married to a guy and um, that guy's name is very hard for me to say. And I'll try to attempt it right now without focusing on my breathing. So his name is Pat, 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 Patrick. If I would focus on my breathing, I could actually come out and say, his name is Patrick, Patrick. I could say Patrick a hundred times. But that's what I learned. I learned to manage the way I breathe, manage, you know, um, um, uh, 
involve my environment and my surroundings. Uh, does the environment affect stuttering? Absolutely, absolutely. I believe, I forgot, I forgot the, the user's name, but there was someone who talked about stuttering and the environment, stuttering and your environment. And, I'll, and I hope it's okay with her, but I'll link her video. Um, maybe I have to ask her for permission or something. I actually, I'm, I'm new to YouTube, so I'll do that. But she does touch on that, and it's very important to understand that your environment does affect your stuttering. When I'm in a crowded place or when I know that there are a lot of guys around, so for example, when I go to the DMV, or, or any paperwork I need to, to get done. Uh, yeah, the stutter does come out. So I take a minute, take a deep breath, and um, I'm able to, to you know, speak. Uh, my, um, I'll give you another example of my stutter. My significant other, she has a name, she has two names. You know, being, being um, uh, Hispanic, uh, South, South American, so they have a middle name as well. Um, contrary to Arabs, I don't have a middle name. Uh, that's just not in the culture. So both of her names are, are difficult for me to say. So I will try to say her name without um, anticipating it. So her first name is Sylvia. That's her first name. And her middle name is Dan Dan Daniela, and that's how bad it was for me growing up. That's how bad it was for me in high school. But now I can say her name. Take take a deep breath. And her name is Sylvia, and her middle name is Daniela. There is a lot of managing my breathing and my environment, and. and and, and I'm sorry, but if I figure out a way to communicate how it is... No, I shouldn't say that. That should not be in there. Uh, it's up to you to figure it And as, as I said in the previous video, uh, you have to find what works for yourself. So, I hope this answers your question. Um, Please feel free to ask any more questions that you may have, um, and I will do my best to answer um, and to provide you with the best examples that I can. And please know that this is the first time that I allow myself, well, the first time since I learned how to manage my stuttering, the first time I've allowed myself to be this candid about my stutter, um, let alone on a public forum. Thank you for watching.